We are coming to you with a WDRB news alert. Sad news to report to you this afternoon. Legendary UofL basketball coach Denny Crum has died at the age of 86. A loss felt across the city of Louisville to be sure. Tom Lane took, takes a look back at his life and legacy. Denny Crum's Louisville legacy started in 1971 when the California native headed east to take over the Cardinals basketball team. In three decades, Crum led the Cardinals to six Final Fours, two national championships, and earned induction into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 1994. Crum built his championship programs, finding talent in the Northeast and the rural Southeast. But one of his major signings was a player from his own backyard. In 1976, Crum signed Louisville male star Daryl Griffith, who helped the Cards to back-to-back -to -back Sweet 16s and a national championship in 1980. While Crum had numerous opportunities to coach other programs, he called the University of Louisville home and did so for 30 years. Crum experienced a few final rocky seasons at the helm before retiring in 2000. After coaching, he joined his one-time nemesis, Joe B. Hall, the late UK basketball coach, for a daily radio show that ran for 10 years on stations across the Commonwealth. Crum spent his retirement years as a special assistant to the U of L president until 2017, and later reconnected to the university's basketball program when Rick Pitino, the coach that replaced him, and Tom Jurich, the athletic director who made the call, were both no longer part of the university. In one of his last appearances at the KFC Yum Center, Crum presented gifts to Duke head coach Mike Shashevsky upon his retirement. Denny Crum, an icon during and after his tenure as the Louisville Cardinals head coach. We have a full story for you up right now on WDRB.com, and we will bring you full coverage today on WDRB News at 4, 5, and 6 o'clock.